Hi everyone, welcome to another tutorial video. In our today video, um, we will go over how to polygonize a raster, a raster file. So it means how to convert a raster file into a shape file, a polygon file. So um, by using one of the tools that is available in QJS. So for this particular video, I will go you, I will sorry I, I I will use the same uh, raster files which uh, is the line use line cover um, raster file that we downloaded from a USGS website so you can check this out in the um, video that um, we uploaded before in YouTube in our YouTube channel uh, you can check this out in the description I will put the the link in the description. Uh, description so so yeah let, let's get it started so as you can see this is the um, the raster file and this specific area represent the New York state here in United States so what we are gonna do is we're gonna convert this specific raster file into a shape file by using by by, um, by using the tool uh, called polygonize, so the tool can be sorry can be found uh, raster conversion and polygonize. So as you can see, convert uh, a raster to a vector. So in this case, what we need to do is we need to select the specific um, raster we have two this one the clipped one uh, has just the um, represent the line use line cover for the New York uh, area and this one is for the whole United States so let's just focus in New York and over here we need to select the band so as you can see this specific raster has just one band basically all the information was saved in one layer um, so let's click in band 1 and um, let's run the code it will take some time um, take into account that there are like a lot of polygons and in, in that is uh, take into account that the high resolution of the raster and there will be like a lot of polygon um, that will be created in order to generate this uh, shape file So as you can see, it will generate. Um, so as you can see, it will take uh, some time to generate the uh, in, um, the new shape file. Take into account that um, the resolution of the 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 raster files. So so as you can see. So this process will take uh, some time. Um, take into account the, the resolution of the original raster and basically if the resolution is like 30 meters, so the new shape file will, will have polygons of 30 meters. So, so yeah, that's why generating all of those polygons will take some time. So I will pause the video and I'll come back when it finished. <laughs> 